at the Nets Republic before this video starts proper, let me just ask, is this a safe space? That's what I'm curious about. Is this a safe space? Because I feel like the answer might be yes. And because I believe this is a safe space, I'm going to share this with you. I truly believe that the music that plays when you go in the Chow Garden of, I think, Adventure 2 has one of the hardest program drums of all time. Like the, the, the snare pattern is some of the best drums in music history. And a lot of people will say the little like, 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 like Lou drum fill from the Powerpuff Girls theme song is the best. But no, I'm, 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 I'm telling you the Chow Garden one's better, but that's not even there. Welcome back to Nets Republic. I waited a couple days to make this video just to make sure everyone had time to calm down, to make sure everyone got their nasty takes out the way before we had real conversations. And what I mean by that is obviously us going out there and losing to the what are we, the, the, the trailblazers is absolutely disgusting. And I know there were some knee-jerk reactions. I know there were some nasty takes. And I just didn't want to be a part of the fodder, if you will. I wanted to make sure that my takes, my, 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 my opinions were something that we could easily just kind of ease on into rather than just being mad at the team for being trash again. Now, obviously, we can make jokes about how disgusting it is that, you know, our bald coach, who was a former player, you know, okay, see, I was going to make the Jacques Vaughn joke thing, but I'm just going to go for it here. I think, I think it's nasty that Chauncey Billups is a coach. I mean, like, shout out to him. I'm happy he has a job. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not on, like, some weird stuff. I just think it's a little bit nasty. To me, I can't take it seriously. It would be like if Chris Paul ends up being a coach someday. I'd say, Chris, sit down. What are you doing? You feel me? It would be like if, like, Shaq was a coach. I'd be like, get your big self out of here. Like, I just, I cannot take it. Like, especially the Chris Paul one. It's like, Chris, what are you doing? Can you imagine how many times Scott Foster would eject him as a coach? Like, I don't, I don't think I would be here for that. The everyone loves, excuse me, the everyone hates Chris puns and, and, and memes would be astronomical. And I'm just not here for that shenanigans. Now, Chauncey Billups jokes aside, it's a shame. It's a shame that the game went to overtime. It's a shame that we are 0-2 in overtimes this year. Especially against teams we're clearly better than. And that's no shot at Atlanta. You know how I feel about them. But it's just like, dog, like we are significantly better on paper than the Hawks. We are sign like at like leagues better than the friggin' Trailblazers. Like it's just it's just despicable. And I understand that some of y'all want me to get on here and just wipe the booty pipe of Mikel and be like, hey, yeah, you need to break in. Yeah, when 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 y'all are equally as, as as excited for Cam Thomas dropping 40, then I'll give a crap about Mikel. How about that? How about we make that deal? When y'all care about the million times Cam Thomas does it, then I will pretend like I care about when Mikel does it. I promise you. I promise you if y'all want to keep the same energy, I will. If y'all want to keep the same energy, I will as well. But that's not the hint or there. I think it's despicable and deplorable and disgusting what they're doing to Cam. The more conversations I have with people outside of the fandom, the more that I'm honestly starting to like buy into the stock and I'm believing the hype a little bit more. We literally have young Kobe, no disrespect, but it's just like, it's just so strange to me. Now, every time I try to watch the Trailblazers game, I fall asleep in like the end of the third quarter and wake up at the beginning of halftime. So I don't know what happens in the fourth quarter outside of Dayron Sharp basically died. But outside of that, I'm not sure at what point Cam Thomas went from his normal attire to cosplaying Nelly because the man had the band-aid on his face. Really, it was on his head, but I want to make the melt. I want to make the Nelly joke. He's got the Band-Aid on his face, and I, I, I don't know when that happened. I feel like I try to re-watch the game every time, and I fall asleep at the same point because, like, I know how it ends, and I'm like, oh, God, I can't do this. But it's just, 
I don't know what happened to that man. I just know he had a bandage on and then he just wasn't playing in the fourth quarter and then he didn't play in overtime and I was just super confused. Like, I'm glad Dennis Smith Jr. got some run and I was laughing at the fact that Spencer Dinwiddie couldn't get off the bench. If he was in foul trouble, again, I slept through so much of this game. The three, you can ask my fiance, the three times I've tried to watch this game, I have fallen asleep, but that's not even, maybe... Maybe that's like speaking to my personal life being so jumbled right now, but like, my God, I try to watch this game so many times and I just keep falling asleep. So maybe I'm just missing some important key moment in the game where Spencer Dinwiddie either got hurt or he was in foul trouble, but it was nice to see that Dennis Smith Jr. was getting some much needed run. Now, obviously his multiple posters are absolutely wonderful. I'm here for it, 2K get to update. And side note, side note, side note, everybody remake your character. Did you know that if you, if you, if you do the strength thing to max, they can do bully ball? I didn't know, I've been trying to figure out how to do that on 2K for like five years. You just turn up the strength. I thought it was all up in like the finishing and the layups. No, it's the strength. So you can bully ball. You might, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I'm about to remake my character now, but that's not here there. Anyway, I just, um, I think it's great for Dennis Smith Jr. Shout out to him. I'm getting a smidgen of what I want. I just, I just need everyone else to get on board with it. And not that I think Dayron Sharp had to die for anyone's sins or anything like that. And again, he's not actually dead. I want to make that clear for either if his family is watching or any of y'all who take what I say as literal fact. I'm joking 90% of these videos. He's not dead. He just hurt himself. I'm sure he'll be back. He's had multiple days off and they are in Paris. Oui, oui. You're, oh, can I say that in this Republic? Yes, I can because I meant... The ah, that might be racist. Oh God, I'm not redoing this video. I'm sorry. We're just gonna have to get canceled. But listen, I am excited for the Paris game just for the simple fact that it's fun and it's cool. And I know that sounds very out of character and off brand for Seventh Bond to care about something that's literally not canon. But I think it's cool. And you know, the game counts. It's not like the end season tournament. Like it's a game. It's just in Paris. I think that's really fun. And I'm. You know, you can laugh at me. I'm excited for it. I mean, I'm going to be at work when they're playing, but, you know, I'm still excited to see it. And shout out to everyone on that side of the world who gets to see a Nets game at a normal time. Shout out to y'all. But we'll probably lose. But it's nice that we get to see Karis and Jared Allen, even though Spencer Dinwiddie is probably the only person who's going to give them that. Maybe Claxton, but does Claxton mess with that? I don't know because we, we've just traded so many people at this point. The team is not the same. So as you know, when we play any of these dudes, I don't slander them. You'll never hear me say anything crazy about D'Lo. You'll never hear me say anything crazy about Karis LeVert or Jared Allen and all that. Like you will not hear a word from me. Now, an older set of the bond used to go in on the... Uh, <laughs> On D'Angelo Russell, I ain't gonna lie to you, but current Sever is not going to do such a thing. Now, if we run into Joe Harris, I'm gonna give him the flames and laugh at him that even on a trash team, he can't get off the bench, but that's not either there. But that that like core of like them dudes, you'll never hear me slander them because they have such a solid place in my heart. And unfortunately, I feel like Cam Thomas and Claxton are going to be added to that list at some point, but I got an unboxing video that hopefully does not usher in them being traded because anytime I buy merch, the person gets traded, but that's not the end of there. Let me know your thoughts down below at the last game. Again, I just wanted to give it a second to breathe because it was such a deflating loss. I just, I just wanted us to just breathe for a second and try to look at this with a humorous approach. We are literally at the halfway point of the season. Let me know what you think of everything going into this Paris game. Are you in Paris? Are you, are you going to be at the game? Let us know down below here at Nets Republic. Am I disgusted? Yes. Am I surprised? No. The Nets suck. They're clearly tanking. And we just we just got to just enjoy the fact that we're able to watch them. And everybody pick your second team for when it's playoff time. All my teams are either just, 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 just trash or the superstar gets injured or something like that. Like I was, I was, I was rooting for jaw. I was rooting for jaw, but that's not, the, 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 I'm serious. I think I'm just a bad luck charm at this point, but that's not, you know, there. I'll see y'all. I think the game's Thursday. I don't know if I open or close, but I'll see y'all eventually. Yeah.